Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to run Android TV on your Linux PC using Vaidroid. This isn't just a basic emulator, it's a full Android TV experience powered by Lineage OS 20, which is based on Android 13. This means you'll get the latest Android TV interface right on your desktop, complete with modern features and smooth performance. The custom build we'll be using is especially designed for Linux systems. It already includes Google Play Store and Play Services, Widevine L3 DRM so you can run streaming apps, and VA API hardware acceleration for smoother video playback on Intel and AMD GPUs. So it feels almost like running Android TV on a dedicated streaming device. Once installed, you will be able to use popular apps like YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, Geo Hotstar, MX Player and many more, just like you would on a real smart TV. And the best part is, you don't need to buy any extra hardware. All of this runs directly on your Linux PC with native performance. I'll guide you step by step through the entire process. Installing Vaidroid, setting up Android TV, registering the device with Google, and finally installing apps from the Play Store. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully working Android TV setup running on your Linux machine. So let's dive in and get started. First, we need to install Vaidroid. Vaidroid is a container that lets you run a full Android operating system on Linux. It's not an emulator, it uses your system's native performance, so apps run faster and smoother. To install Vaidroid, open your terminal. Make sure curl and the required certificates are installed. Then add the official Vaidroid repository. This makes sure you always get the latest stable version. Now, update your package list and install Vaidroid. Once the installation is complete, Vaidroid is ready to use. You can find it in your Applications menu. Now, we'll download the Android TV build for Vaidroid. Open this GitHub link given in the video description. This custom build is maintained by the GitHub user SuperChicken. It's based on Lineage OS 20, which runs on Android 13. The best part is that it already includes Google Play Store and Play Services. It also has Widevine L3 DRM support for streaming apps like Netflix and Prime Video. Plus, it comes with VA API hardware acceleration for smoother video playback on Intel and AMD GPUs. Scroll down to the Releases section on GitHub. Download the latest zip file for the x86 or 64-bit PC. The file size is about 1 GB. When the download finishes, open your file manager. Right-click the zip file and choose Extract. After extraction, you'll see two files, system.img and vendor.img. These are the images Vaidroid needs to boot Android TV. Copy both files into your downloads folder. Now, we'll replace the default Vaidroid images with these Android TV images. If you have already initialized Vaidroid earlier, run the cleanup commands to remove old data. If this is your first time, you can skip this step. Now, move the system.img and vendor.img files into Vaidroid's custom images directory. I am assuming the files are in your downloads folder, but you can change the path if needed. Finally, reinitialize Vaidroid with the new Android TV images. Vaidroid will detect the custom files and set them up. Once the initialization is done, you can launch Vaidroid from the Applications menu. The first boot might take some time. 
After a short wait, the Android TV home screen will appear on your Linux desktop. Now that Android TV is running inside Waidroid, we need to register the device with Google. Waidroid is not officially certified. Because of this, Google Play will block login unless we add the device to Google's uncertified devices list. To do this, you first need your Android ID. Open the terminal. Run this command. It will display your Android ID. Next, open your web browser and go to Google's uncertified devices registration page. Sign in with the same Google account you plan to use in Waidroid. Now, copy and paste your Android ID into the box. Complete the CAPTCHA, then click register. You should now see a confirmation that your device ID is registered. After that, restart the Waidroid container. Open the Google Play Store app. Sign in with your Google account. Once you are signed in, you will see the full Play Store interface just like on an Android TV. You can now search for and install apps directly. Let's start by installing YouTube. Within a few seconds, the app will be installed on your Android TV inside Waidroid. Next, search for Amazon Prime Video and install it. You can now install any other Android TV apps you normally use, like Spotify, VLC, MX Player, Plex and even games. After the apps are installed, let's test them. Open YouTube first. To sign in, you'll see a QR code on the screen. Use your phone's camera to scan the QR code and your account will be linked instantly. After that, YouTube will launch perfectly and you can play videos in high quality without any issues. Now, open Amazon Prime Video. Log in with your account details. Pick any movie or show and start streaming. Playback should be smooth with no lag thanks to hardware acceleration support. With the Play Store working, you now have access to thousands of apps directly from Google's server. You can install streaming apps, music apps, games, utilities, basically everything that Android TV supports. And the best part is that all of this runs natively on your Linux PC without needing extra devices. If you ever decide you don't want to use Waitroid and Android TV anymore, you can remove it completely along with all its data. First, stop Waitroid if it's still running. Then, uninstall Waidroid from your system using this command.
Next, delete the leftover data and images that Vadroid created. Once done, Vadroid will be fully removed from your Linux system. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.